please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Welcome back. Well, uh, for the markets, nothing much to incrementally talk about. Those are some more numbers which are flashing on your screen. The other stock which I just want to bring up is Dr. Reddy's. Uh, it's up around 3 odd percent. It's a top gain on the Nifty. The numbers are coming out tomorrow. So maybe there's some amount of optimism ahead of that. That stock uh, is showing some amount of traction ahead of um, its numbers and its Q3 performance that it will release tomorrow. But uh, otherwise, State Bank of India also not doing too badly. It's up around 5.8% uh, for the week as well. And let's see whether we are expecting some news on the PSU bank recapitalization details. So maybe that would be something else that we should watch watch out for. But uh, Manoj now calls in from um, Rajasthan with a question. He has investments in l and Infotech. Uh, hi, Manoj. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm Manoj Chode Gawa. I have taken l and Infotech for 650 rupees. And my 2-3 year investment origin is what I want to do. Now it's going to be very good. Do you want to sell it or do I want to sell it? Okay, exactly. Manoj, well, congratulations. Aapke, aapka investment abhi tak bahut, uh, tezi se chal hai. But let's see whether you can uh, make more money in the next two to three years. Shaina, uh, before we get a quick view from Prakash as well, I'd like your view of, since it's a long-term investor here. Yeah, I think he should continue to hold the stock. Uh, the company is doing uh, quite uh, well in terms of even the numbers were interesting and quite good. And if you see the uh, wins, contract wins that they are, they are continuously getting new contracts, the recent $50 million contract that they had. I think uh, it's a, a decent uh, bet, also not uh, very expensive compared to the peer group. So I would continue holding it. All right, uh, Prakash, your view? I think it's a good stock. Basically, I like the structure. It's seen a good consolidation. It's given a breakout as well. So it's a good stock to buy and hold. Who knows where it goes? But yes, it certainly looks good. Okay, well, uh, those are the numbers which have come in from Capital First, uh, where the profit is up around 42-odd percent on a year-on-year -year basis. Now, remember that post uh, the deal with IDFC, these numbers are probably going to get redundant on a standalone basis, but it just goes to show the kind of performance that they've come out with. And maybe it's important to pull up an IDFC bank uh, chart as well, just to see how exactly it would be reacting. But nonetheless... Um, uh, the net profit is up around 42 odd percent and I assume that since it's an NBFC all of the other details will come in with a lag such as uh, the gross NPAs as well as the reported NII. So all of that um, will be with us in just a bit but otherwise it's not looking too bad in terms of the profitability so it's up around 42 odd percent on a year on year basis 87 odd crores which compares to 61 crores uh, year on year and it compares to 78.3 crores last quarter so it's a good performance which has come in on a year on year as well as on a sequential basis they've never really faltered in terms of the parameters that uh, they've reported Nigel considering that uh, you know they've always maintained their asset quality they've managed to uh, grow their loan book as well as disbursements so i expect that trend to continue this oh. time round all well. right then so capital first there the stock spiking up remember if you bought it on the deal day then you would be down close to around 10 12 percent approximately because the stock was at around 900 rupees but as uh, as ikta says you know prima facie these numbers look more or less in encouraging well before we slip into a short break just want a couple of stocks that should come up for you purvankara something's happening there suddenly that stock has spiked up it is trading down close to five percent now it's up close to around five percent so just keep an eye out on a couple of stocks in the broader markets you are making money if you have uh, selected uh, the right stocks in today's trading session i show clearly as well we've got that uh, you know that news flash that did come up earlier that we are a logistics are looking to order more amount of trucks and that stock has taken off uh, as well well on that note we'll slip into a sharp break you come back continue our focus on the markets also answer all your queries Getting straight to our next query, we have Partha who uh, calls us from Pune. He has investments in Ashok Leyland. Hi, good afternoon. How can we help you? Uh, hi. Actually, I have uh, 400 shares in Ashok Leyland of 40 rupees. Okay. In the last four years. Uh, actually, I want to know that uh, I will hold the position or I will exit. Okay. Congratulations. First of all, you're making good, good money. Uh, so you're making closer on 3x uh, from your buy price. And let's find out whether or not you should book some part of that profit. Uh, Shaina, coming across to you, what would your advice be? Book part profit or is Ashok Leland good for more? Uh, 
No, I personally also hold the stock and I would advise he continues holding the stock. Okay. If you see the growth triggers are all in place for Ashok Leyland, it's a concentrated play in the uh, MHCV space, which is doing very well. Mm. You see this is reflected in the numbers of Ashok Leyland, that is one. I think they're entering into new areas, even the uh, uh, e-battery space, they are looking for tie-ups. And as you mentioned on your channel, they are, they are likely to get some good orders from the uh, logistics space. Yeah. So I think uh, numbers also should be much better on a uh, YOY basis. So everything is looking up. There is no need to get out of the stock as of now. EV by sales is also very reasonable. It's just about one and a half times. Better to hold. Okay. All right. So that is the view coming in on Ashok Leland. Uh, Prakash, what would your view be? I think it's a long-term hold. Just buy and hold. If you, if you get a dip, possible. Add, add some more. I think it's heading to levels close to 150. It's a matter of time, but it'll go to 150. Okay, all right. So that is on Ashok Leyland. And those are the Pfizer numbers which are flashing on your screen. Not bad performance, which has actually come in. So Pfizer, for example, reported a 40% uptake in terms of the profitability this time, all the way to around 87 odd crores. So good performance coming in. Maybe there is some amount of recovery in sales in the domestic market. Remember, this particular Pfizer that you're talking about, majority of their sales come in from the India market. And uh, that would be basically impacted because of the price control controlled by the NPPA, plus uh, they did have the Corex brand, which they relaunched. Um, the revenue is quite sluggish, but there is a growth in the profit. So maybe we'll have to see what the other income is like and whether that's supported So um, this time round or not. So those are the Pfizer numbers. Our stock is reacting uh, positively, not that break great in terms of volumes. So you can see that little bit of an uptake which is coming in. Take a break, focus on more stocks once we're back. Stay tuned.